So I'm Kai uh, from Zen Arb. Some of you may have seen online posts recently regarding Eckington Woods. Um, but more than anything, I'm a local in the area and I'm trying to help spread awareness on how you locals can help. Um, especially if you walk or cycle through Eckington Woods in the Moss Valley. Uh, you may have already noticed posters up uh, claiming tree felling remorum disease. And this is just a video to clear up a little bit about what's happening uh, and why, and furthermore, how you guys can help. So an area of woodland has been identified um, as a hotspot for Phytophthora remorum or remorum disease. Um, it's a highly infectious fungal type pathogen, which predominantly affects, in our case anyway, larch and sweet chestnut trees. There are plenty of larch and sweet chestnut trees in Eckington Woods, and they do really make up the bulk of this woodland. The damage that remorum disease causes to the larch and sweet chestnut trees is extensive and it does eventually lead to the death of the trees. Sadly, there is no cure for remorum disease. So the only real treatment we can put forward is clear felling of all the infected plant matter. It can affect up to 150 different types of plant. So the Forestry Commission have issued a statutory plant health notice, which does result in clear felling of, of an area. Please observe the signs and posters that will be going up more and more and more as this project rolls on. Remorum disease is harmless to people and animals and I must make that clear especially this year with Covid and us all here in quarantine and all of these buzzwords every single month of the year. It is harmless to people and animals however walkers, cyclists, dog walkers, even horse hooves can aid the spread of the of, of the disease inadvertently and, and purely accidentally. We must stress to the public how infectious this disease is and these woods are much loved by, by everyone, everyone in the local area. So it really boils down to we lose this area, this infected area now that has the statutory plant health notice and we do our bit by refraining from entering this area, staying it, avoiding it totally or risk losing more of these woodlands if you must travel through on your routes on your cycles then i urge you if you find yourself near a warning poster or a site safety notice just scrub the leaves the larch needles the soil off of your boots before carrying on through the woodland just to try and help curb the spread of the infection through soil and plant matter. That takes us on to when works actually begins. The works will commence in the new year and they must be completed before spring and the new sporing season for the, well, for remorum disease, a fungal-like pathogen, before the spores kick off again. As I said, it is devastating for the community and I must emphasize full restocking and we would appreciate any and all efforts to just stay out of the infected area. And if you must, scrub boots, scrub wheels, scrub paws. Thank you for listening. I've been Kai at Zenarb.